this is Talita and today we are going to take a look at the EagleSoft Advanced Imaging Module. So first of all let's take a peek at how we get there and then we'll take a, a brief tour. So from the chart module the third button on the bottom right you can get to view images And here it's going to default to this exams by date and basically each exam is going to be listed on its own by its date. And if you want to take new x-rays, we're going to go down to the bottom and then click new exams. And then we're going to choose one of the templates listed. So let's say we want to take an FMX, we're going to left mouse click on the FMX template. And once we plug our sensor in, this number one box is going to be flashing in blue and yellow. And that tells you that it's ready to acquire an image. And at that point, you just need to place the x-ray sensor in the patient's mouth, position the x-ray tube head, and activate the exposure. And once the computer is done processing this particular image, the computer is going to auto advance to box number two. When there were preset templates, each of the images is going to have the assigned tooth or teeth that would belong in that frame. And as you see, as I move to the next one, you can see there are different teeth assigned in here. If the patient were missing one of these, you can as easily just uncheck the bubble and that will remove that tooth from that image. For PAs and intraoral images, since we are not using a pre-labeled template, we need to manually add the tooth number in order to label that image. You can also search images by exams by type. So for example, if you're looking for just images for a particular tooth, you can expand the images by tooth selection and then expand even further and it will show you if there were images of those teeth. Here on the top menu under file is where you're going to be able to import and export images. Under image, you're able to mirror, flip, or rotate the image in case it came in incorrectly. Under effects, you can colorize, you can invert and emboss to facilitate diagnosis. Under tools, you have your eagle eye. You also have your measurements tool. Under activities, you could change your patients. You can check the patient's alert. You can jump back to the chart or perio chart. And if you don't see the tool you're looking for and you use it often, you can also customize the toolbar and add that tool to the toolbar. So you just need to right mouse click on the toolbar and then click on customize. And then we're gonna find the tool we're looking for and then add. You can also move it up, move, move down. You can move tools around um, on the toolbar as needed.